All right, back again with another video. It's gonna be good in number three. I may end up changing the title at some point because <laughs> this keep calling it the beginning. It's kind of getting old. All right, so we got my player progression, and we have the options. As of now, I'm an undrafted. I think I could increase that by my play. But as far as with the my player, let me see appearance, my animation. You have the animation store right there. As I said, this is the progression, and you have the badges. Let me see. As far as with the badges, however, I have no badges. Defensive rebounding, playmaking, shooting badge, finishing badge. Let me see. See? I have no badges. Let me see. Earn a potential upgrade. Now, these are finishing badges. Finishing at the rim. Dunking, layup, all of that good jazz. Put back boss, relentless finisher. These are badges that I can get. This is badge info, as you can see. Pro touch. See, they got all the badges right here for the finisher. So you can look at that. Got these over here as well. 12 potential badges. So these 12, 9, 16, and 9. This is the shooting badges. There's progression badges. And this is the progression. All right. Here's the progression part. All right. Now, like I said before, I got the playmaking. So I can upgrade. But as you can see, as far as with the upgrades, as I quickly know just by me ranking up one thing, it's going to cost me VC. So since I have the playmaking ability, right here is going to be my main focus. Now post up, post moves, this is not even going to go anywhere. I'd rather focus on pass accuracy and ball handling because as you saw from a couple, not say, a couple of videos ago, but my last game, I got in one turnover just because my ball handling was just so garbage as you can see. So... I'm just going to put that in the 50s right there. The accuracy, I'm not worrying about that because I'll just be passing it like in close proximity for most of the time. But if I see a wide opening, I'm going to pass it. Um, shooting, three-pointer, free throw. I'm going to have the free throw up by one, so that's going to be at a 60. As far as with my layup, I'm going to have it at a 60. So I'm just going to leave it at that for now. So my overall is 60 offensive threat, even though I'm not even going to be taking that much jump shots. I'm going to get my teammates involved more and keep that VC, keep getting the VC points so I can keep upgrading some more. Because there's really not much for me to work on right now because I'm at flat baseline. Got no problem with it because I know what my character is capable of. As you can see, the steel right there, the steel, I can only get up to 32 for now, but still, I have to start somewhere. So I'm going to upgrade my steel, which is for the defense. You know, defense is key. And on top of that, defense has the most stats anyway. You have defensive, offensive, block, steel, lateral quickness, perimeter defense, and interior defense. Interior is the inside. If you're wondering perimeter is on the outside that's why my perimeter is at a 45 versus my interior at 31 so i'm gonna keep those right there for now but everything else that i've touched on so far ball handling my free throw i ain't worrying about that too much but i wanted to get my driving layup up there because once i penetrate i'm just gonna be doing layups all right so my speed is 67 acceleration 65 but at least my stamina is at 75, so at least my endurance is going to be up there. But not the best, but it's also not the worst. It's technically at baseline. So I'll be able to deal with this for now. Alright. As like I can say, as far as with the badges, I'll get those badges when I keep progressing through the game. But as far as with finishing, shooting, playmaking, and defensive rebounding, technically there's four tiers, and they're broken up into badges. So I'll be most likely be focusing on the playmaking, then I'll go to shooting, or I could go playmaking, worry about the defense, then the shooting, and then finishing. But my main focus is playmaking. So I'm going to be looking at the badges as far as with the playmaking because I need to get certain things which will increase my thing even more. 
Um, Dimer, I hovered over this quickly because I already know as far as with Dimer in the past, once you keep dishing out them assists, as you can see, boost the shot percentage of open teammates on jump shots after catching a pass. So it will boost their shot percentage. You can see handles for days, floor general, teammates receive an offensive attribute bonus when player is in the game. So dimer, floor general. I'm already looking at those right there. So these two. Needle threader. Increase the likelihood that tough passes can get by the defense. All right, so that's cool. Stop and go. Tight handles. Unpluggable. Post spin mechanic. Quick first step. Provide more explosive first steps out of triple threat and size of so that's the quick first step all right space creator flashy passer dream shake there's a number of things that i could think about as far as with the playmaking but i already see three things to mind dimer floor general quick step pass fake maestro needle threat needle threader <laughs> Handles for days, Lob City, Downhill. I'm going to focus on these three for now. If I get Dimer, Quick First Step, Floor General. Because, again, that's technically these two right here is for the teammates. Offensive attribute bonus for the Floor General. And Dimer is boosting the shot percentage of open teammates on jump shots after catching a pass. I'm going to be focusing on those. As far as with playmaking. All right. Then I could go shooting or defensive rebounding second and third and then worry about finishing at the rim. So that's going to be my game plan going in. All right. So that's going to be as far as with this video. I know it's not going to be no gameplay, but this is me getting used to the progression and getting used to the badges as to what I'm going to be planning to do for my guy. Because I already know how. I'm capable of breaking this game as far as with building him to being not only a defensive juggernaut, but also an offensive maestro of getting my teammates involved and still be a threat on offense. It's going to take time, but I know how to build this guy.